thanks for being here. First time. I know it's, a, you know, your wife Penelope has been here before and we love having her here and uh, I've wanted you to be on, so thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I very, appreciate very it. Very to be here. So, is this the, f you, you've obviously both been uh, nominated for Oscars and you won an Oscar, but have you both been nominated at the same time before? Never. It That's was, very exciting. It is very exciting, very unique. Yes, and it is very, uh, very strange. It was a great morning, the morning of the nominations. It was a great morning at home. Yeah, because you don't want, I mean, you'd be, you'd still be happy for the other if you didn't get nominated, but it's a big deal that you both got nominated. Absolutely, and uh, my name was the first one because the actor went first. I was nominated, I was very happy, but I was holding the, the celebration until her name was called out or not. That's And sweet. she was like, come on, enjoy this. And I'm not enjoying anything until your oh. name is on. And then when her name was on, then we celebrate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Now, but here's where it gets tricky. So, so your real wife, Penelope, is nominated, and in the same category, she is up against Nicole Kidman, who plays your wife in Being in the Ricardos. Yes. <laughs> so now you've got, you've got two people that you love, obviously your wife more, but they're up against each other in the same category. What can I do? I know. Uh, the heart, I mean, the, it's the heart and the mind. It's, uh, it's divided. Of course, I, I think both are amazing actresses, but she's my wife. Yeah, of And I, I, I love her. And then also, I'm very proud of what she's done, which is to be nominated for the second time in a role in Spanish. Yes. Which is pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and a great movie. The a great movie. Well, and mothers. Yeah. Yes, beautiful. Yeah, she, beautiful movie. And she's a, she's you know she's one of my favorite actresses. She's you know she's just she's fantastic, and as a human being as well. She's a great person. Um, and you are an uh, amazing actor. And I'm not I, as good person. Though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know you, so I can't. I don't. Uh, I think you're uh, you're an amazing actor, and clearly a lot of actors and actresses. We start out, we do different things before we actually make it. I learned today that you were a male stripper. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm 53 years old. There was a time when I was 20, uh -huh. believe it or not, and uh, I was stepping out of a cake for a friend, uh -huh. for a friend's wife, that it was going to be the wife. Uh -huh. And then we went to celebrate that into a disco. And I did my routine again on the disco dance floor. Uh -huh. And the owner of the disco said, will you do that every Friday? <laughs> and I said, yeah, of course, because I was drunk. Uh -huh. <laughs> then they hired me, and then I had to perform the next Friday. Right. And I was so nervous, I called my mom and my sister to accompany me to my striptease uh, number. And there was nobody. I think there were like three people there. <laughs> well, and it was very embarrassing, but I did it. I mean, I'm a performer, and I gave my word. You... So I was a stripper for a day. Wait, but <laughs> so there were three people, and two of them were your mother and exactly. your sister. <laughs> the other one was the, the owner the of the owner place. Of the club, right. <laughs> did you did you have like a choreographed routine, or were you just like dancing? And what no. were you, what were you wearing? Uh, nothing. I mean, I was wearing a tuxedo that I will open, and then I will have my my little thing there. I don't. My little you... thing. I mean the little the yeah, little call, yeah, yeah whatever. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't. It is a little thing. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, but no, I had, I, I was dancing into the number of You Can Leave Your Hair On. Yes, Joe Cocker. Nine yeah. weeks and a half, the how, song of nine How appropriate, Joe Cocker. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was right there. I Absolutely, could, I, everything <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, to, have you watched the Magic Mike movies? Because maybe there's a part uh, in the Magic Mike 3. Yeah, they asked me to play the part where the, the old guy comes uh -huh, in and uh -huh. tries to do something and they stop it. Uh -huh. Say, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I mean, those, those guys don't know what they're doing. But don't you wish that we had footage of you doing that at that age? No. I don't have it. Oh, yeah. I don't have it. Um, now, switching gears. Oh, completely. God, yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And so, uh, nice segue, you're also uh, in, as, as well as uh, being the Ricardos, you're in Little Mermaid, yes. which is a, uh, your kids have to be so excited to see you in that. Absolutely. Yeah. I, was, I was called by Rob Marshall, who's the director, and, 
and uh, lovely person that I adore, and uh, he told me if I wanted to be part of it. And I said that to my little, it was, she was seven at the time, year old girl, and she started to cry. And I said, but I'm not playing Ariel. I said, no, of course. <laughs> You're playing King Triton, right? And her face said it all. So I call and say, yes, I'm in, I'm in. It's probably the only movie she, that you've done that she exactly, can see. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. That, that's that's a, why I have to do it. Yeah, exactly. That's amazing. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about uh, and show a clip from Being the Ricardos, which is fantastic. And now, knowing that you danced, it makes sense, because you, you dance in this, you sing in this. You, you're just, a, you really, your performance was incredible as Ricky Ricardo. We'll be back. Javier Bardem. Being the Ricardos, I'm a huge I, I Love Lucy fan. Uh, you probably didn't even watch that growing up. No, it was not popular in Spain as it was here. In as States. it was here, so you had to kind of learn all about it. And this, as much as you think you know, I, and I know a lot about Lucille Ball, explain what this movie is about. Well, it's the story about Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, who were this amazing, iconic uh, couple that really changed the history of, of television, among many other things. They were great comedians and they were madly in love with each other. And it, they were the first ones to run a production company being a woman and a foreigner, which by being the 50s in the States is a big thing. Right. Among many other things. Right. And we find out some things that almost kind of ruined her career. It, Absolutely. It's really, really good. And, it, you know, you had to learn a, a Cuban accent. You had to learn an English accent to help your Cuban English to be... Mm -hmm. it, your performance is amazing. And you're singing, you're dancing. And that particular scene you shot, I understand, on the Queen Mary. Yes. Now, the Queen Mary, we sent a ghost hunter with uh, Andy because that's supposedly the most haunted ship. Do you know that? It, did it feel no. haunted to you? Well, now they are saying I felt taken by the spirit of Desi Arnaz while uh -huh. I was doing the, the Babalu uh -huh. in a good way. Yeah. But, uh, wow, really? Yeah, it's supposed to be the most haunted place. We were making a lot of noise that day. Maybe those ghosts were like... They were scared? Like they were scared of us, yeah. maybe? I don't know. But I didn't hear anything strange, though. No, no, I didn't hear... But I felt... I feel, I feel pretty good there. All right. Well, like, have you been to Selma Hayek's house, though? She has a ghost, too. Oh, uh, yeah? No. <laughs> she has a ghost? She didn't tell you that? No. She talked about it on the show. She has a ghost at her house. Selma is, Selma is bigger than life. I mean, she has yeah. everything. Right. No. She has an owl. <laughs> she, she has an owl yeah. that eats mice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Hey, before we go, I want to talk about the documentary, because I love documentaries. I love that you did this. You went to Antarctica. Yes. And you love penguins the way I love gorillas. All right. You love penguins. That's why you invited me, because yes. you love gorillas. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I love penguins. I think they are the most amazing animal, because it's like a, two sides of the same kind of... It's like clumsy and funny on Earth, on land, but uh -huh. then once they get into the water, they're like bullets. Yeah. And they are amazing, and they are... Uh, they really la believe in union. They believe in, in community. They uh -huh. really belong to, to a family, and they, they will die for it. Uh-huh. And, uh, yes, and this, this, this is... Uh, uh, um, trip was done like two years ago, three years ago, and it was in order to support Greenpeace in their uh, pursuit for the Ocean Treaty yeah. in the United Nations. Yeah, they do some great work. All right, you can watch Being the Ricardos on Prime Video. It's a fantastic movie. Congratulations and Thank good you. luck on Oscar night, Thank and we'll be back. Thank you. Very much.